Recently, I decided that it was time to make a change in my life. I've never really been considered fat by my friends or family. They have always assured me that I look just fine especially for someone of my height. But while the encouragement was nice, it was no secret that I was overweight. And after spending years with limited activity and staring at my belly hanging over my pant line, I finally figured that it was time to do something about it. So I looked around in the hopes of joining a gym. However, given how the world of 2020 and forward has been, I haven't exactly felt overly comfortable with physically going into a building full of sweat and heavy breathing, even with a mask. Instead, I was lucky enough to find an online gym service app by the name of Pen Pal Pound Buster which seemed to be exactly what I was looking for. Basically it was a service that linked you with a random gym buddy and the two of you would function as a personal trainer to the other. For the sake of being anonymous, no information other than first names were ever shared and no one ever had to meet face to face. It was pretty awesome. The app even had a build a routine feature where you could pick from a long list of workouts to send your pen pal for each day that you planned to work out, coupled with the ability to track each other's progress including heart rate, duration, and weigh-ins. And there was also a built-in chat page where you could send your pen pal words of encouragement and such. I couldn't have been happier with everything it had to offer. Thanks to the mostly anonymous nature of the setup, there was no shame or fear of being judged by a personal trainer or anything. It was just two people striving to achieve the same goal and helping one another to get there. Plus I am a pretty solitary guy and I really enjoyed working out alone so it all suited me just fine. After the sign up process, it was a few short days of waiting before I was paired with my weight loss pen pal, Hector. Before we got started on actual workouts, the two of us used the chat feature so we could establish our goals and what we were generally the most comfortable with. I was pleasantly surprised to find that we were more or less looking for the same thing out of this process. Hector and I weren't trying to get buff or anything like that. We wanted to get comfortably fit, to have more energy in general, trim down our waistline, and maybe gain a small amount of muscle. Having a similar mindset made setting workouts a breeze for both of us, and in a matter of a week, we were on a solid weight loss track. At first it was hard. Getting accustomed to physical activity after being a couch potato my whole life left me soaking with sweat and huffing after virtually every assigned run, squat, or push-up. And to the credit of the app, it worked better than I ever could have hoped. Hector had me on a great routine and his words of affirmation made me feel supported and confident in the effort I was putting in. I had a surprisingly fun time planning workouts and checking in on Hector, urging him forward as I watched his heart rate rise and fall depending on the intensity of the exercise. When we reached our first weight check-in after a month, we were both impressed and proud. I had lost a total of 5 pounds and Hector managed to burn off 8. Holy shit dude, great job. You're making good progress. I messaged him. You too. If we keep this up, we'll be complete hunks by summer lol. Hector replied. I chuckled aloud. Hot boy summer here we come lol. I answered. After making this kind of progress, we began picking up the pace and intensity of our workouts. With the added motivation pressing us forward, we were able to move into the next stage of our weight loss with excitement and fervor. And within another few weeks, we had both passed the 15 pound down mark. This milestone earned us a notification from the Pen Pal Pound Buster app. Congratulations. The message read, By reaching your first milestone, you've unlocked the bonus. Theme challenge workouts. Complete challenges to burn more calories than ever and reach your next milestone in no time. I read through the list of challenges and found myself laughing at these themes. Some were humorous like follow the yellow brick road challenge where you had to run a mile while skipping the entire time. While others held more of a spooky tone such as the sky is falling, where you had to run and dodge falling debris to encourage a more intense serpentine sprint. Hector and I continued chatting as we went through the list, joking around about them before he finally asked, So, you want to try a challenge for your workout today? Sure why not, go ahead and pick one out, surprise me. I'm game. I messaged. While I waited for him to pick, I took some time to get ready by changing into my workout clothes and doing a few stretches. A few minutes later, my phone went off and my challenge appeared on the screen. 
Hector has given you the beat the clock challenge. Look out. Your phone is a bomb. Finish your mile run before the clock runs out or... Boom. Do you accept? I smirked at the description and stepped out onto the sidewalk before hitting yes. In an instant a countdown clock set to 7 minutes began to count down and I took off running. With each second that passed, my phone gave off an ominous beep, as if it was a ticking time bomb. The sound made me feel uneasy and nervous all of the sudden. I knew it was all part of the theming, but I was genuinely impressed at just how much that little beep made my heart race and I found myself running faster than ever. About three minutes in, I could feel my lungs start burning and I was huffing and wheezing hard. I almost felt like slowing down when I noticed something. From my pocket, I could feel my phone heating up. With each minute and every beep, the temperature was growing higher and higher. I stared down at the ticking clock on my smartwatch and a sense of fear started to creep into my mind. I hit five minutes and my phone grew hotter still. The incessant beeping growing louder, thundering in my head and making my chest tighten. My phone wasn't going to actually blow up right. Of course not, that was ridiculous. This had to be some kind of extreme measure to make the workout immersive. And yet, as the clock hit the final 60 second countdown and my phone got so hot that it started burning at my leg, I wasn't so sure. I ran faster and faster, sprinting down the road, ignoring lights and stop signs blocking out the horns of angry drivers as they almost hit me. None of that mattered to me right now. I had to finish this mile. 20 seconds. My stomach roiled with overexertion. My head throbbed, but I pressed on. 10 seconds. My legs burned and buckled as if they might give out on me at any moment. I couldn't stop. I couldn't slow. My phone was so hot, the beeping echoed in my skull. And then, everything fell silent. I pulled out my phone and stared down at the screen. It had frozen with three seconds left. I nearly jumped when another beep went off. Congratulations. Challenge complete. Great job. As I read these words, I halted my run to a stop, falling into the grass by the sidewalk with all of the momentum I had built up. And I fought the urge to throw up from all of the effort I had exerted. While I sat there, my phone almost immediately cooled down and within a minute it was totally back to normal. Even as I was still catching my breath, I found myself laughing at myself. I'd really let the whole ticking time bomb thing get in my head. I had been so skeptical about the whole theme challenge thing, but the immersion really worked. I'd never run so fast in my life. Hell, I'd never finished a mile in under 9 minutes before. After my breath fully returned, I went back to the app to message Hector. While these challenges aren't messing around, they really push you to the limit with the whole theme and immersion stuff. I had a great workout. I told him, I was watching your heart rate during that. You were booking it man. Well done. He replied, Well then, I guess that makes it my turn. Find me a good one. I scrolled through the list of challenges as I slowly got to my feet and began walking back the way I run to go back to my apartment. After a couple minutes, I spotted a promising one. The Big Bad Wolf Challenge. The wolf is coming to eat you. Outrun him for six minutes in order to reach safety. I chuckled at the name as I sent it over to Hector. Alright little red, run away from that wolf lull. Oh boy, here we go I guess. He replied. Good luck, you're gonna crush it. I encouraged him. As I continued my slow walk home, I watched as his heart rate began to pick up quickly. Two minutes in, it was faster than I'd ever seen it. I shook my head. This must have been what it felt like for Hector when he saw me sprinting like an idiot in the middle of the day. I watched as his heart rate continued to grow. I came to a stop at the crosswalk by my place when a message popped up in the pen pal app. There is something chasing me, Hector had sent. I looked at his heart rate. It was crossing 175. It's all just part of the immersion. My mind was playing tricks on me too. It helps you push though. Don't worry, ease up if you have to, there's no pressure. I sent back. The crosswalk light turned on and I made my way across the road, turning the corner down my street. My phone went off again. No, it's not a trick. There's something chasing me. I frowned down at my screen. Are you sure? Can you see what it is? I asked. I stopped walking, waiting for his reply. He was now four minutes into his run and I was starting to get worried. My phone went off again. 
It's a fucking wolf. Hector messaged. I laughed and shook my head at him, continuing to walk. Very funny. Not a fucking joke. He typed. I checked his heart rate. 200. Another message came in. It bit my arm. Dude, I'm bleeding. Oh shit, I'm freaking out, man. At those words, a chill went down my spine. All at once, my brain went into emergency panic mode. What was I supposed to do? He was just a pen pal. I had no idea where he was or even his last name. He could have been three towns over for all I knew. My hands shook as I sent him another message. Where are you? I can call for help. I offered. It's getting closer. I'm screwed. I looked down at the workout clock. He had passed the five minute mark. Hector, where are you? I messaged. No reply. You've made it five minutes, just one minute to go. Can you push a little more? Nothing. Hector, please respond. I checked his heart rate again. It had hit 225. Hector finally sent a bunch of letters and numbers. My skin grew warm and my head spun. I looked to his heart rate. It went up and up, hitting close to 250 BPM and then, nothing. It dropped from 250 to 50 to zero in the space of 30 seconds. I stared at the zero with held breath, completely dumbfounded and horrified. I hadn't just seen that. My eyes were playing tricks. This was some kind of sick joke. Hector, I texted. I stared at the final message Hector had sent me and waited. I was still glued to my spot on the sidewalk by my apartment, but I couldn't move an inch. All I could do was sit there and wait for a reply that I slowly realized was never going to come. I crumpled to the floor, breathing heavily, and then a thought occurred to me. Hector had been chased by a big bad wolf. So did that mean that if I hadn't finished my mile in time, that I would have. I didn't have time to finish the thought because all of a sudden, a noise came from behind me. I spun around to face a bush as it shifted. Twigs snapped. The sound of a low growl came from beyond what I could see. I nearly screamed when my phone went off. I lifted it to my field of vision with a shaking hand, without taking my eyes fully off the bush. As I read the words on the screen, my stomach dropped to the floor and my blood ran cold. Surprise bonus challenge. It read, Looks like Hector was eaten by the big bad wolf. But you still have a chance. Bonus challenge. Hide and seek. Every five minutes, you must find a place to run and hide. Don't let the wolf find you. Or you'll be his next meal. Your 30 minute workout challenge starts. Now. Thank you to my superfans, Sweet Black Swan, Tacey, and Brooklyn. I really appreciate you guys supporting my channel, and I look forward to making more content for everyone.